Hi everyone, it's Peggy and I'm here with another segment of Positivity with Peggy. So a lot of you may have noticed when I was on Housewives, I was really into astrology and what everybody's sign is and how that fits into my sign. So I thought it'd be really fun to bring on an astrologer. So today I have life coach and astrologer, Tracy Panzarella. Hi Peggy. Thanks for coming Tracy. Thanks for having me here. I'm excited to talk about this. So you um, have been doing astrology for how long? About 22 years. I got started when I was 27. And I had a friend who asked me if I'd ever had my chart done. And he is a master astrologer, and I was very fortunate to train with him. His name is Greg Nielsen, and he really taught me everything I know about it. So it's been a, it's been a process learning. It's sort of like learning a foreign language. Because we've all, you know, grown up, like, reading, you know, Cosmo or whatever the magazine may be, and it shows us our sun sign. But there's so much more to that. That's right. Sun sign astrology is literally just that, taking one aspect. There are 11 other aspects to consider, and that's just in your planetary considerations. Then you have the house system, which is another layer. So you have to think of an astrology chart. It is literally a layering of information and then going in and interpreting what all of that means, which is why some people say, well, I'm a Virgo, but I'm not like you. And, and it just really depends on what other planets could be influencing your sun sign. And sun sign, sometimes the sun sign is the least influential. Well, for instance, I'm an Aries, mm -hmm. so fiery, but then I have a Virgo rising. Or is the Virgo moon? You have Virgo moon. Virgo moon. Mm -hmm. So I'm very organized and kind of a neat freak and maybe a little control freak, and that would be the Virgo in me. Right. So my sister's an Aries, and we're so opposite, and it's because her moon sign, I don't know what it is, but it's something different. Yeah, and it could also be every, well, depending on the year you're born, you have uh, certain planets change signs every year. Like the moon changes every three days. Obviously the sun is monthly. Mercury is, you know, usually a 30-day cycle, could be longer. So all of these will influence who you are and how you behave in the world. You have to remember, too, that, you know, your sun sign is just your outward personality. So what I like about you is that you focus on Saturn, which most astrologers don't. And tell me why you focus on Saturn and what is important about Saturn for people to know. I think I focus on Saturn because I hated it so much in the beginning. <laughs> Once I learned what Saturn was, which was basically the life lessons and where we're going to get knocked down in life if we're not paying attention. And that's what's so important about an astrology chart is it is a tool for personal development, for self-awareness. That's what makes it valuable. What makes it entertaining is you can apply it to other parts of your life. Who am I going to fall in love with? When? A prediction tool. But really, if you've got a good astrologer, it is a personal development tool. So Kind of telling you where you were and where you're going to be going, but what life lessons you're learning so that you won't repeat those mistakes. Right, and that's what Saturn is. It's the planet that shows us our life lessons and shows us really where our, it, it is the Achilles heel. But if you can overcome it, if you can become aware of it, it becomes your powerhouse of strength. Now, what are the houses? Because on my chart, um, there's how many houses are there? Well, there's 12. So, and, and each house actually correlates with one of the sun signs. So if you looked at a chart, it looks like a wheel is what it looks like. And then you put the different symbols inside of the wheel. And then the third aspect is to find out, you know, how these planets line up with each other. Are they square to each other, which could be conflict? Are they in harmony with each other? So you may have a chart where your Sun and your Venus, which is how you love, are in conflict with each other. And then someone will say, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time in relationships. The good news is there's always an escape hatch and you can find it in the chart. It's like, here's where you're having the conflict, but here's where it can end. Interesting. This is what you have. This is the energy you need to cultivate in order to overcome this. Well, I know on the wheel, I'm over here and Micah's exactly across from me. So we've been told that's, you know, the best combination when we're because for balance, right? For balance, because he's Libra, which is the balancing act, and then I'm the Aries. So I guess. R right. He's a saint, basically. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, <laughs> not Libras, always. <laughs> Libras are just so easy to get along with. And Aries, I'm a, I'm a fire sign too. I'm a Leo. I know. So that's why I'm, they get along so well. And and I know how sometimes, uh, you know, I, I can be... Not difficult, but I have my opinions, and I'm very sure of myself. We like things our way. <laughs> and I like things my way, most of the time. Yeah, of course. That's my children. <laughs> I feel so honored. So you've agreed to now offer charts on my website, PeggyTanos.com. 
and uh, you're going to have a whole menu. So tell viewers what they can expect from their charts and how long it takes. And I, they can order anything from a very short uh, synopsis of their chart to one that's more in depth. Um, I may be offering things where you can be very specific. What's my love life? What's my career path? Because that sometimes is what people want. And then I will be offering a Saturn chart, which um, not a lot of astrologers will. So which it, I it, love that. It's very unique. Yeah, it really will be about, um, I, I'm all about finding your purpose in this life. And, you know, let's get down to it. <laughs> let's figure out why we're here. I agree. <laughs> so I think if more people figure out why we're here, we may actually get somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> thank God for that. Well, Tracy, thank you so much again for coming in today and spending some time and letting everyone know about astrology. And I'm excited for the website to now offer your charts. Well, thanks. And I, Peggy, I love your message. Positivity. Thank you. So thanks again for tuning in. And until next week, stay positive.